Uh, welcome back to the show. Battle of the bad losses. No Giannis. And the Bucks downed the Suns 140-129. KD had 11. Dame had 31. Uh, meanwhile, your Clippers, Brew, were playing the Hawks without Trey Young. Uh, they were down by 29 points in the fourth and have lost four of their last five games. So which was worse? Well, there's a damning quote by Paul George. It was on the, it was on the screen there. Yeah, I don't think we have an identity. Can we show it on the screen yeah. if, we, if uh, we can? Not good. Yeah. He said, yeah, we don't have an identity. First of all, with all these veterans, at this stage of the season, with a great head coach, how can you not have an identity? And so, and George, look, a lot of times, George, he's just brutally honest. Mm -hmm. And he'll make quotes over the years where he really tells That's you what's going on the with dope. the team. But, yeah, right. <laughs> um, I, I obviously picked the Clippers to get to the conference finals and lose to Denver. Yeah, and then they I'm immediately not were befallen pick. by yeah, the curse nah, well, of they, they were struggling a little before that, but yeah. I'm not giving up on them. But it's been a bad stretch. I think this loss was worse. You said that Trey Young wasn't even there. I mean, yeah. Giannis is one thing. Trey, Trey Young, you know, wasn't there with them. And, and they had all of their guys. And James Harden, all of a sudden, he has gotten worse statistically at least by the month. And it's kind of like as the playoffs approach. Yes. But <laughs> well, I've got a theory worse. as well. What's changed I, in the NBA the last two months? They stopped calling all those jabroni fouls. Oh. The the Haberstrow or was it, it might not it might have been Ethan Strauss. I'm not sure. Somebody just had a tweet during the show. The average, you know, over under for an NBA game in January was 233. Tonight the average is 218. Wow. A 15 point drop in two months because they've changed how they're officiating. Mm. Who's that going to hurt the most? James Harden. Plus his regular post All Star break swoon. Plus they miss Russ's energy. Yeah. Well, Games where they were going to be tired, right? Like, and, and Russell helped. And, like they they the, do miss his energy. No, and no so listen, I am shocked by how much Vegas once again loves the Clippers. They have the second best odds to win the West, and it's close with Denver. Yeah. They have the third best odds to well, win the title. They were playing great yeah. earlier in the year. Yeah, they but really were. Well, it, it, they, but the Vegas odds are not for them to be great in January. I might have bet that too. This team is, is so. I think the Clippers are just going to confirm that anybody that makes the Western Conference playoffs can beat them in a series. Anybody. That I'm going to actually say the Suns' loss is worse mm. because I maybe foolishly thought the Suns. We're better than they are. Like, man, and I know Durant had a bad game, and Durant has been their best player, and Durant's been unbelievable. I was talking with Brew before the show if he could steal Tatum's first-team All-NBA spot from him. Brew doesn't think so, but I think Durant's been playing at that level. But Durant's 11 points and why they lost, because they still scored 129. Right. The Suns letting Milwaukee score 140 without Giannis mm -hmm. is a flashing red emergency light when you are – fighting for seeding in this close to the postseason. And so I think it's a worse loss for the Suns, but a part of that is because I flatly don't believe in the Clippers. And again, I understand I'm biased. I've also been right about the Clippers every year they've had they've been a team. I don't believe much in the Suns. And I'm gonna now this is not a good sign because they are fighting for playoff position and they're a veteran team. But I chalk that up as a fatigue loss. If they were to play, it was the end of an East Coast okay. road trip. You know, they okay. took them lightly, yep. clearly. No Giannis. And then they just get called out there and get beat. Yeah. Um, Clippers have had several bad losses since All Star. They lost. Remember, LeBron went crazy. They blew a twenty point lead. That's, or that you could say that that was that was just LeBron fall. being awesome. Or you can say the Clippers blew it. They've had a few funky games. Yeah. What would it take for you to see from the Clippers in these next few weeks? For you to say, you know what? I'd officially like to apologize and change my. Oh, I'm, I'm not changing the pick because I, I think they'll get it together. They have a great coach. All right. And I think with those veterans and coach. Russ's energy off the bench, that's big for them. They don't really have a leader among their players, in my view. All right, and I think Russ is as close to that as they have. And Russ is somewhat of a leader, but they need his energy. So, I, yeah, I, I look. If, if this is I'm a round one up. matchup, be fine. I like the Suns a lot. Oh. <laughs> Stay with Warriors Lakers. LeBron had 40, Steph at 31. AD at left early with an eye injury. So the game went to the Warriors. Last two minutes of the game, Disaster. Took 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, what was the number one storyline of this game, Nick? I mean, this is mortifying for the league. Mortif it, listen, it, was all, it wasn't just the very end the, that 15 seconds took 19 minutes. It was, there was so many, this is a wildly important game. Mm. Okay? Like, this could be what determines 
who's the yeah. 8, 9, 10 in the play-in. We've talked about the difference between being the 8 or the 9, and in the 9, 10 spot, who's at home. You had the Warriors have a possession that was 40 seconds long, and none of the refs realized, gosh darn it, man. This seems like a hell of a long shot clock situation. Like, right. the, none you, of nobody, them. Everybody nobody was like, like what is what? happening? <laughs> um, they, they did something that I know is within the rules, but I this, it's not because it happened to LeBron. People have heard me complain about this before. I hate the multiple plays later retroactively changing the score. Because the, LeBron hit a three. Mm -hmm. You play a certain way thinking you're down four. And then to well after the fact after you've had an offensive and defensive possession, be like, actually, you're down seven. But you got to get it right, don't you think? Well, I get, well, at what point, Brew, let like, me ask you this. Like, if somebody takes a, a two that we think is a three mm -hmm. and they get an extra point, I do think you have to take that point off the clock. Okay, but you, but you would agree with me in this regard, that if somebody takes a two and they call it a three, right? Or is, let's do it the other way. Someone takes a three, they call it a two. Right. The other team has the ball thinking they're up one. It does and change. Then they, and then they, you know what no, I mean? I and then and there. then you wouldn't say, oh, we got to go fix it. Now the game's in overtime. Like, I just, I don't like that. But then they couldn't figure out the shot clock thing. This is, so, right or wrong, Steph LeBron is still the biggest draw in the league. Mm -hmm. It gets the biggest numbers, all of it. So that, to me, was the biggest story. That this, it feels like the NBA keeps stepping on a rake on about a lot of stuff, and then the very next day we heard, hey, national TV game, so excited, Giannis out. Like, there's just a lot of stuff that's frustrating right Well, now. that's the biggest. Even this game, I mean, you can't blame AD, he got hurt. But, you know, so yeah. many of these big national games, some star yeah. is out, and that's frustrating. But I, I'm going to go to basketball for these two, the biggest storyline. I think, look, with Steph, now I, I do think the Lakers with AD beat the Warriors I agree. in the play-in. The size is just too much. And yesterday – or the, the, in the game, Saturday night, you saw they just took advantage. Once AD was out, they just or went like to the 50 hole. Point yeah, points. yeah, they wouldn't have done that with AD. But I'll tell you this, kind of like the Mavericks, Golden State is dangerous. Like, they're 13-4 and four in their last 17 games. With Steph, they're dangerous. You know, I, they can't win the West. But could they ruin somebody's post, like a Sacramento or Oakley C, a team that's ahead of him? I think you got to watch out for him. And the, the second thing, I got to say this, Clay. Off the bench. That's been good. Great. It's re it's kind of brought him back. Look at these, his numbers. I know it's only 10 games, but still. Let fewer minutes, more points, and 20 way a game. More efficient. And look at the, yes, he's playing against second unit yeah. players. Oh. And when he's out there, it's kind of his show because a lot of times Steph's on the bench. So it's his, his thing and he can get in his rhythm. So, yeah, I mean, that's big for them. Can I, I want to add one basketball piece as well because we're lucky enough to do the show with one of America's most notorious and well-known LeBron James critics and Kevin Wilds. Um, Not even top 100. The, uh, well, <laughs> the fan, I let the audience figure it out. Brew, you agree with me, Brew. He, he takes he's his shots when he can. Yeah, uh, how point. much How much do you guys put into what LeBron's looked like post-All-Star break? So post-All-Star break, he's missed one game, mm -hmm. and this uh, his numbers are, we can show it to you, he was playing well before the All-Star break. Post All Star break, he's played awesome. like you know the fifth best player in the league thereabouts. And the Lakers, you know, oddly, despite that, are still you know just a few games above 500. But if that's the version of LeBron you get in the postseason, plus an, an extra two or three minutes per game, that's the Lakers' hope. The Lakers' hope is that he's going to – not 47% from three, yeah, with but with AD, AD that you're going to get that level of LeBron somehow in year 21. It, it, it looks. Honestly, like LeBron can just get to the hole at will. It's and with the floor spread out, it's mm -hmm. easier for him. He's a great finisher, obviously, but it's even easier for him to finish because you don't have as many. And some of that is that he's been red hot from three, so people. It's three point shot, yeah. Is that one of the best three point shooters in the Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.